This video will teach you the quickest and most effective way of vacuum cleaning your car, turning your carpets from this to this. This is step 7 of how to wash a car series. The vacuum is the most vital stage of interior cleaning, as this is when you'll be removing the greatest amount of dirt. So let's get started. First, you must take care of the dust on the upper surfaces, as this can fall onto the carpets after you vacuum them, ruining your work. So use an air blower on areas such as the dash, seats, doors and center console. Then use a soft detailing brush on the vents, tight cracks and crevices and anywhere there might be dust left. Hold the vacuum close to suck up that dust. Now what you'll need is a vacuum and a good vacuum attachment designed for car cleaning. This will allow you to move quickly through the carpets and reach the tight areas too. Something like this won't work and something like this is even worse. But this right here is the best vacuum attachment and nothing really comes close. So always start off at the front driver's side of the car by first pulling the seat fully backwards. This reveals all of this hidden space here. Then carefully take out the upper carpets. Notice how I hold the carpet, slightly folding it in order not to let any of that dirt fall onto the car. Next, give the carpet a few bangs, which will release a great amount of gunk. When doing this, hold the carpet close to the ground and away from the vehicle to make sure that dust and dirt is not blown back onto the car. With that done, leave this carpet somewhere to the side where it will not bother you and begin vacuum cleaning the lower carpet. Just don't leave it on the floor as it will just make it even more dirty. When doing the lower carpets, the main spots to worry about are the outline of the carpet. And under the seat here, here and here. And also around the pedals. Once you have completed the lower carpet, place the upper carpet back into the position and begin vacuuming it. So the technique you must use is up and down and left and right motions. Don't do this. Do this. Look at how much more effective that is. With that complete, you can now carefully vacuum clean the seat using your hand to open up and clean all of these gaps which contain the most gunk. Never be too aggressive with the seat, especially lighter coloured seats or else you can cause marks. Next, quickly do any cup holder or storage areas, being careful not to pick anything valuable. With the front done, you now have to pull the seat fully forwards, revealing all of the space at the back. Repeat the exact same process here too. Take out the carpet, bang bang, lower carpet, upper carpet, seats, then the odd areas. You then complete the boot before starting again from the front passenger side and then the back. Here are some pro tips you must not miss out on. Clean or replace your filters once it gets full. This will allow your vacuum to have maximum power. Take out junk first before beginning this cleaning process. If you have a pet hair problem, use a pet hair remover, then pick it up with the vacuum. If you have a sand problem, use some sort of vibration to agitate the sand out of the carpet and suck it away with the vacuum. You could use a massage machine or an old polisher. If you have a stubborn carpet problem, use a stiff brush with this technique to dislodge and remove those trapped particles. And by the way, not all carpets are the same. Some carpets, such as the newer Audis, BMWs and Mercedes are extremely easy to vacuum as they effortlessly release the dirt. While other carpets, such as the Teslas and older Mercedes seem to trap the dirt and particles. Finally, the vacuum hose scrapes along the ground and collects dirt and grit, so letting that get onto your car will only make the car dirty. A top tip to avoid this is by holding the hose in between your legs like so. This stops it from touching the car. 
and the main thing to remember is the left and right up and down motions. This will give you the great speed and allow for the most thorough cleaning. Chaps, you are now Tino approved and a pro at performing the vacuum clean, which is step 7 of how to wash a car series. Click here for the next step, click here and watch the whole series and become a pro at washing your car.